I would like you to guess for vi video posterity who is not here. Stacy and Todd. <gasps> actually early and normally I'm the late one. <laughs> she did text me and say we are on the way we got stopped by small children. I'm being for real. Small children. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean well, it's a possibility. It is a possibility. I mean if you live in the neighborhood there are small kids. Yeah. So, yeah. But but that's one of those like it's always something. <laughs> it's always something. I even left across town and gave myself more time today because I was like, I'm always late. I'm I need to stop <laughs> thinking that it takes me 10 minutes to get across town because it doesn't. It doesn't. They still have a minute, so it's possible. Todd going to be testing out different, a different <laughs> fan today. It might be. Or are we going to use the new fan? There's actually a breeze today. It's not bad because it's cloudy. No, it's cloudy. Yeah. When I was leaving, I thought, mm, it might rain, but. I thought that too. Yeah, maybe it, it looked won't. angrier across town. It did. It, well, it kind of did when I left, too. Yeah. Okay, so finished my run today. I uh, probably should have waited till tomorrow because my legs are still so tired from running Saturday and walking yesterday. And that's the real reason why I don't do the challenges. I did one, I did the glass slipper challenge in. 2016 because it was the year I had my stroke after I had my stroke but my legs after doing the 10k one day even though I'm not fast wasn't pushing myself my legs were exhausted and I had trained completely by the training plan doing one run one day one run the next but I was just like it's just too much but um I survived made it my 30 minutes not very fast with I did a three minute warm up walk and I started my watch when I started walking. My pace was 1219 when I finished running. And like I said, that was with my walk as well. So I'm not sure what just my run pace was, but I was kind of afraid it was going to start raining on me. So I just did small little loops over and over again because I thought that way I could get back to my house fairly quick. Um, but it never rained. I think it sprinkled once, but the sky's kind of cleared off now. So, you know, that's good. Cause I hate getting wet. Even if I'm like super hot and sweaty, I don't want to get soaking wet. So anyway, that's my, um, walk for the day. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I was going to go ahead and walk for like an hour tonight. It actually feels really good out here. It's been kind of like overcast for most of the afternoon. Just a little, you know, there's a little bit of like blue sky back there, but mostly overcast. Um, so I was going to walk for like an hour, but I don't think I'm going to because I'm getting a little late start. So I think I'm just going to close my rings and then go home. But yeah, it's, I, my legs are kind of tired and tomorrow's a running day anyway. So I may just, like I said, close my rings and let my legs rest a little bit and focus on my run for tomorrow. Um, Di run Disney, changing subject, Run Disney is supposed to give an announcement tomorrow. I'm kind of betting there will be, I don't think there'll be any races for the rest of the year. I guess wine and dine might be possible, but I'm kind of thinking they'll start up again next year for in-person races. That's kind of what I've thought all along. There are several races that are starting back this fall, but I don't think, I don't really think Run Disney will, but they might, it might surprise me, but I kind of think it's a little late for like training plans and, you know, even people to save money to go. So, and I kind of think I might try to do one race every weekend, race weekend. I don't know. We'll have to see because I'm going to have to sit down and look at my budget and see if I can afford to do one race per race weekend. But it'd be fun to vlog that anyway. This dog likes his ice cream. Don't worry, he doesn't get much. I only leave a little bit on the stick for him to lick off. And I don't eat after him. He doesn't get any till I'm done. You done? You done? He's done.
out of breath. Just finished my run. I got two and three quarters or something like that on my run in my 30 minutes. It is hot. I started to try again tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain, I think, tomorrow. Good chance of it anyway. So, just decided to go ahead and get it done because I wanted to be outside. And plus, I didn't get to leave work on time. I was about, to, I don't know, a little bit late leaving work anyway. So, um, it's just thrown off a lot. So, um, but got it done. I'm done now. Next run will probably be it's Wednesday, probably Saturday. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about Run Disney's announcement today. In-person races are coming back for Wine and Dine, which that honestly surprised me because I wasn't expecting it for Wine and Dine. I was really more expecting it Marathon Weekend, but I've been looking at it and I think that I am going to try my hardest to do one race per series. Um, probably for January it will be the 10K because I'm not sure that I can get in um, half marathon shape by January. I might be able to decently do it by then, but the way I feel right now, I don't think I will. Uh, maybe by Princess I could do a half. I know that's only a month different, but maybe a month and a half. But I think by the spring one, I should definitely be back in half marathon shape. So it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. I have to I have to sign up for marathon weekend in like three weeks, I think. Um, but the princess, I don't have to decide till after our my birthday trip. So um, yeah, that's I think that's gonna be the goal. So that way, maybe you guys can keep tuning in to see how that training is going. So anyway, I'm going to go get the pups and. Walk well, Kim now. He's probably wondering where I'm at because I'm a little bit late. So anyway, just now getting out to do my walk. I am really hoping it doesn't rain on me because there's some, not like, I wouldn't say ominous, but definitely some rainy looking clouds around. Also, I was attacked by a spider. Okay, I won't say attacked. I was walking at Atlas earlier and walked through a spider web and went like this to get the spider web off and there was a spider in my hair so I really hope it didn't bite me I don't think it did but uh, anyway I have been exploring more run Disney options it really gives me I wouldn't say anxiety I have anxiety issues anyway but um, I just wish I had someone to like train with me that I could count on to like go with me but I've got some options in my head as to what I'm going to do and so I think it'll all work out but I am gonna have to work on my budget some and tweak it around and make sure I can afford to do what I would like to do so anyway um yeah I wish I had some more podcasts to listen to but I listened to one of them at work today and finished it so I really do need to find some more podcasts so any of if any of you guys have good suggestions for like super good Disney podcasts. I like true crime stuff, uh, really good ghost stories, that kind of thing. I probably should listen to more self-help and motivation, but I'm not always great at listening to that kind of stuff. So anyway, get back to my walk and I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm getting my walk in today, just walking. I walked Atlas a little bit ago, now I'm just walking myself. Ready for a three-day weekend. I need a break. I've been yelled at at work a couple times this week. Not by coworkers, by people. So I just need to de-stress and decompress and spend some time with my atlas. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some crafting. I really need to catch up on all my TV shows. I've got several that I need to watch. So I'm going to try and catch up on them. Loki, I've still got one, I think. I'm behind on it. But then I still have several from just TV that are DVR'd that I need to watch and get deleted off of the DVR. So anyway, no big plans this weekend. I'm gonna try and run tomorrow. Not entirely sure if I'll just run at home. Kind of thinking I might go to the Greenway here in town, but I haven't decided yet. I guess 
you guys will see when I video it. Started trying to think about budgets for all my potential Disney trips for the races. My toe is hurting again, so there are a million things that I have got to train up so that my it's just my toes don't hurt. You know, that's a big issue. But anyway, yeah, so I'll run tomorrow. Just gonna walk and craft tonight, I think. Maybe just go to bed. I don't know. I was looking at my a memory. I had a picture on my Facebook page today that was of my um, metal board, Tom's board, right after I made it. And apparently I had just finished it that day and hung it up and there were seven medals. It was 2015. Um, I think I have gotten a few more medals in the last six years. What a difference six years has made. Um, it's kind of funny because like the rod is even like drooped. So I'm not sure. I mean, I could probably get a few more on there. Kind of scared that might break. I thought about adding like another rung to it too. Like I thought about doing that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I get some more medals, if I'll add them to this one or if I will just figure something else out. Hey everybody, happy Saturday. I am out here running again. Um, I decided to come to Cleveland's Greenway. Um, it actually feels really good today. It's like 80, 79, 80 degrees. I was gonna just run it home, but uh, this is flatter and gets me off the road too. A little different scenery. Actually, I meant to go the other way first. I actually may turn around and go do that. Um, anyway, um, I'm gonna try and do maybe four and a half miles. I think I might do a run, walk, run instead of a solid run, but I don't know. We'll just see how I feel. I kind of had a big lunch, but it's been uh, like three hours now, a little over three hours now. So I don't know. I still feel kind of full, but anyway, I will catch up with you guys while I'm running. One mile done. Um, I am doing a run three, walk one pace. Feeling pretty good. I actually started my at my run before I started running. So that includes part of my warm-up walk. But um, yeah, so we'll just see how the rest of the run goes. Time to walk. I am not to my two mile mark yet, but I am to my walk break. So I thought I would give a run update. My left toe is still bothering me. There is a little bit of a blister on there already. I noticed it last night. So this morning I ordered some stuff that is kind of supposed to be like the, the uh, chafing type stuff. And um, not just for feet, but it was I can't even remember what it was called. When it comes, I'll show you guys. But it had really good reviews, so I'm hoping that it will help. And I'll just slather it on before I run, and hopefully it will help my toes, because if I am gonna train for these runs, I cannot do it with hurting toes, because it's really pushing it for me to do it today, but I am, so time to run. Another run check-in. I wish I had worn my tight shorts because the last time I wore these shorts they didn't rub they're rubbing now so I don't know if I'm gonna make it or not I am certainly going to try but my legs are hurting where these shorts are rubbing so I'm just gonna have to start wearing my tight shorts all the time until my legs get thinner like they used to be I believe my running intervals are done I actually feel pretty good, like endurance wise, like I might be able to do a little more, but my legs are hurting so bad. So I think that's it. My, my, my run is telling me I've done 4.5 now anyway. So that was my goal. So I'm gonna walk a little bit and then finish up. Um, I'm back to 
one of the super shady areas now. So, like I said, I'm just gonna finish up, maybe walk a little bit more. I might walk to till to my watch says five miles, which is like four tenths. So then call it quits and go home and walk the pups. <laughs>